This problem is from ISI entrance 2021. It's objective problem number one. Okay. It's a number theory problem and it's quite simple actually. We have a number n that's given as 2 square, 3 cube, 5 raised to the power 5, 7 raised to the power 7. So this is a prime factorization of n. Now we want to write n as a product of two numbers a and b such that 1 is less than a is less than b and GCD of AB is equal to 1. The question is, how many ways, how many ways can you do this? So, instead of working just at the solution, I want to give you a way to think about this problems, this problem combinatorially. So what does that mean? Well, my claim is if I want to try and write n as a product of two numbers whose GCD is 1, all I am doing is creating subsets out of these four prime factors. Let me write that. There are four primes involved. 2, 3, 5 and 7. I will think of the number A as one box and think of the number B as another box. So this is one number, this is another number and their product is n and the GCD of a and b is 1. What that means is if I put a 2 in this particular box, I have to put all the 2's, I have to put all the 2's in the same box because I, I do not want anything to be in the intersection of these two boxes. It's very important that you think about this problem like this because then you'll be able to solve other problems which are in the same spirit. Okay, so we want to build subsets out of these four numbers. Subsets of 2, 3, 5, 7. and put it in a box. So for example, if I make the subset 2 comma 3, I can put the prime factors 2 and 3 inside the box named a. But I, what I'm actually doing is I'm writing 2 square and 3 cube because I have to put all the 2's and all the 3's in the same box. But that part is automatic. I don't have to do anything else. If I tell you that put the prime factors 2 and 3 in the box named A, you will automatically put all the 2s and all the 3s in that same box. So every time I create a subset, I am building A and I'm indirectly building B because I'll put everything else inside B. For example, in this particular case, I would put 5 and 7 inside B. In fact, I will put all the 5s and all the 7s. So 5 raised to 5, 7 raised to 7, all the 5s and all the 7s. So I have built A and B, the two numbers whose product is n and whose GCD is 1. There is one thing though, which one is larger? I want A to be smaller than B. So you have to be a little bit careful here. But that's very easy because every time you do this, 
you could have also done the opposite thing 5 raised to 5, 7 raised to 7, 2 raised to 2, 3 raised to 3. So this could be my A and that could be my B. So these two cases are exactly twins of each other. Twins. And we have to count only one of them because in one of them A is smaller than B. In the other one A would be larger than B. So in every duplet of these two cases, I have to count only one case because in one of the two cases A will be smaller than B. When we switch it, A will become larger than B. So we will not take that case. Okay, so we have all the tools in place. So I'll write that the tools or the methods of thinking in place. The first one is each number is a subset. Think of a, think of it as a subset of primes. And remember twinning to avoid double counting or to make sure A is less than B. This is, it has a wide range of applications and a lot of problems actually, the second one. And the third one is discard one. So you want one less than A less than B. So you have to be careful and not take the subset of all the four numbers. Don't take the subset of all the four numbers because then if all the four primes is in A, then B will become one. If A contains all the four primes, then B would become one and or vice versa. Right? Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's build the subsets build the subsets. Each subset will correspond to A. Okay, so of course we could have built subsets created out of zero primes or one prime or two primes or three primes or all the four primes. Okay, but we have to be very careful here. We cannot, these two are twins. So we have to discard these two cases because we don't want A or B to be one. We don't want that. We don't want that. So we, we have to delete these two cases, remove these two cases. And the remaining cases that are here, we have to take half of them because of the twinning, right? So, in fact, I could write 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 4 because all of these four numbers or five numbers will add up to 2 to the power 4. And I can subtract 2 because I deleted these two cases and I can divide that by 2. So can you put the final answer in the chat? And do you remember any problem, any other problem where you have used these three methods? Thinking of numbers as subsets of primes, twinning and discarding some of the cases which you don't want you can put that in the chat as well finally you can click on the link in the description to access a toolbox the toolbox contains resources for mathematics learners in schools colleges math olympiads isi entrances and so on so there is a toolbox link in chat that's a free free resource agenda.
resource. Okay. All right, so keep on doing great mathematics. I will see you in the next one.